Hi, Raphael. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. How was your day today? Well, it has been um, a little bit tired, but I think it's, it has been good. I'll try. Good, good, good. good. Yeah, I know it's it's not easy. December is one of those months where uh, there's lots of events going on, lots of things that you have yeah. to work, right? Um, have you finished with your with your class already, or do you still have classes with them? Um, no. In fact, um, we stopped uh, teaching, but. Uh, we have to have the grades ready uh, by the time when they ask him, ask them for it. Oh, okay. And when is that? Sorry? When do you have to have the, the, the grades ready? That is the thing that they, they haven't put, they haven't set a, a time, a date. So that is the thing. The thing is that we have to uh, have them ready because in any moment they could uh, ask us for them. Oh, that's not good. So yeah. you're not really able to um, plan for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, well, hopefully, uh, so are, but are you almost ready? Are you almost finished uh, with the, with the, with the grades? With the what? Are you almost finished with the grades? Yes, in fact, today I, I finished, I passed some grades that I was still missing, but um, I finished today. Oh, good. Good, good, okay. All right, so almost vacation, Raphael, almost. Almost, you, yeah. You just have to hang in there a little bit more, okay? <laughs> yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, when do you officially finish? Uh, well, we are supposed to finish um, like, like um, November 2021. 20, yes, because uh, there are always many problems with, for example, uh, the student with, uh, before, uh, before with the with the test that they are doing, like Avanzo. So, uh, in fact, we have been uh, trying to enroll the student that couldn't do the, the the test. It is very complicated sometimes, I think. Wow. Okay. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's a never ending story. Yeah. But. Okay. Well, hi, Louise. Welcome. Hi, teachers. Thank you. How was your day, Louise? Um, about the traffic, horrible. <laughs> I came some, some minutes before. But oh, it's you okay. Just home? Yeah. Really? Wow. Okay. Yeah. So wow, well, okay. So you are um yeah, I, I can I imagine. guess it is the season. Yeah, yeah, Christmas. that's true. December is always a really bad month. That's true. Yeah, I'm well, sorry to hear that. Um yeah, well this we it's almost going to be finished, right? Um, yeah, yeah, so I, you should be okay. Um, okay, well, guys, um, welcome to, oh, welcome, Maricela. Hi, teacher, how are you? Good, good, how good are evening. you? Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Um, fine, fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Yeah. And um, how 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 was how has your week been so far? 
Has it been a good week, a very busy week? How would you describe it? Very busy week. Yeah, um, I'm working right now. Yes, yeah, I suspended because the class, but I'm working. Oh, you're working in this moment? Yes, and uh, after the class, I continue. I will continue. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I, yes, yes, yes. But it's okay. Do you work from home? I'm uh, independent. Oh, okay, okay. But yes. you are at home. Um, I was working in the office all day, but I'm continuing uh, at my home. Oh, okay, okay, wow, yeah. Yes. Well, um, sometimes they say that being independent is uh, more work <laughs> sometimes, right? Yes, we don't have a schedule, right? And <laughs> I have to read a lot of things, read and read and read and read, so. And think and think and think and think. Yes. <laughs> and and um, what what is it that you do? I'm a lawyer. Oh, okay, okay. That sounds interesting. Yes, I I have a case that is difficult and uh, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. That it's it's hard. So. I continue, I will, I will be work, yes, um, after the class, yes. Oh, yeah, for I can only imagine, what kind of a lawyer are you? Um, Um, I don't know what to say. Um, I I see a lot of things about uh, uh, intellectual property. Intellectual property. Yes. Yes. Oh. So. Um, okay. Yes. Yes. And I'm notary too, and. I see a lot of a lot of things, family. Uh, I don't know what I say penal. I don't like that and I can do that. Anything about penal. I don't I don't know what I I, I say. Oh what do you say penal in English? Uh, you mean like a criminology? Yes, something like that. Yes, yes. Okay, so you 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 don't like to do that that kind of thing? No, 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 no. I don't like that. Yeah, well, it's that's a very a little bit dangerous. I get so. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Especially in our country. <laughs> many, many, yes. many layers. Thought like you. <laughs> yes, but the money is there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the money is there. Yes. So yeah, you, you kind of have to decide money or your life. <laughs> <laughs> I like my life. Yes, I like my life. So. So. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Okay. And welcome, Alejandra. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm pretty good, thanks. How are you? Um, I'm very good, too. Good. I'm happy to hear that. Okay. All right, guys. Um, so today uh, we're going to be looking at the last topic uh, that um, from from this uh, from this course. Um, and from the platform, I, if I'm sorry, uh, before I continue, I was um, list, 
I was um, listening to my uh, the, the students from the other group that were talking that they told they said that the um, apparently the documents have to be in by the 23rd or something like that. Did you guys get that that notification? Yeah. Yes. Yes, teachers. I think that they already sent a message. Well, in my case, in WhatsApp, I received a message about that. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, just I just wanted I was just mentioning it because I wanted to make sure that everybody ha uh, knew that so that you are not uh, waiting till the last minute um, to do it and say no, oh, you know I. I didn't know about this. I didn't know that we had to do it then. Okay, so um, it, I really want you guys to, to be careful about that. Um, make sure that you 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 give it in on the it, at the right time. Okay. Um, all right. Sounds good. So, any questions that you have? No. Did you? No. It's all okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Excellent. All right, guys. And remember um, that we remember that we only have until tomorrow to um, finish up the, the platform. Um, anybody that is here in this moment has not finished the platform. No? No, teacher, I finished. I, I finished, not finished yet, but, but I will tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, because in fact, I finished the platform uh, like 15 minutes ago. Oh, wonderful. That's the important thing that I already finished. Okay, good, excellent, good, very, very good. Okay, and you guys remember that um, you um, you you can also uh, continue practicing. If I'm not mistaken, you can continue. Like if you want to, if you want to get a higher grade, you can continue practicing, right? Because the more you practice, the better it is, and um, you know so. So you can do that as well. So don't. Um, so if you like, for example, if you got, let's say you got eighty-one percent, but you want to get more, you can continue practicing and uh, all the way up to um, tomorrow. Okay, and until you you make sure, just you just gotta make sure that you don't ask for the the certificate yet, because if you ask for the certificate and then you won't be able to change that score. Okay, got it. Okay, teacher. All right. So, like I said, if you haven't asked for that certificate, you can you still have time to increase that grade if you want it. Okay. All right. Any questions at this moment? No, teacher. No. 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 Okay. All right. Good. Um. All right, so what we're gonna do right now, um, today we're going to, like I said, we're gonna be learning about the last topic of, um, uh, oh, by the way, do we have any questions about uh, the the, um, the phrases that we've seen so far about time? Can you repeat, please? I can hear you. Uh, do you guys have any questions about this, the phrases that we saw yesterday for time? Talking about time? Anything that came up? Any other questions that came up? I, ha I have one. Okay. What, what uh, question do you have, Rafael? Yes, I remember that we saw um, a phrase like, during the 80s, right? 
And that will be in Spanish like durante la década de los 80, right? Um, but how do you say a principios de la década de los 80, for example, how do you say that? You say at the beginning of the 1980s. Because I've seen that some people put like during the early, I don't know, I don't know, I don't remember well. Um, in the early, that you can say in the early, blah, 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 uh -huh. Okay. Yes. In the early means um, uh, in, um, in los primeros años. Okay. Like in los primeros años de blah, 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 blah. So if you say in the early um, 80s, it would be like 80, 1980, 1981, 1982. Right? Okay. That's the, the early 1980s. Mm -hmm. We right now we are in the early 2020s, mm -hmm. right? In this moment, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but you can say at the beginning, we can also, say, it's also possible to say at the beginning, um, at the beginning of um, the, the, the 1980s, or just simply the, at the beginning of the 80s, mm -hmm. okay. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Okay, any other questions that you guys have? Anything else that you want to ask me? No? You sure? No, it's fine. Yes. Okay. All right, guys. Um, in that case, we're going to start right away with um, just give me one second. I'm going to get out the Okay. All right. I'm going to share right now the um, PowerPoint presentation. And I want you to tell me when you are able to see it. Okay. So. Can you see it? No yet. No. Not yet? No. Just give me a second. Let's let try that again. Okay. Can you see it now? Yes, we see it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Sorry, unfortunately it went crazy on me right now. Just give me a second. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> okay. okay, there we go. Perfect. Now you can see it better, right? Yes. Okay. All right, good. So Today, we're going to be looking at how we can make predictions, okay? We're going to be looking at um, how it's possible to make the predictions for the future, okay? Uh, so first of all, the first way that we can make predictions, the one that is the most common, is starting with, um, with the subject and using will, 
plus the verb in the base form. So it's like, for example, it will rain this evening, or they will be mad at me, or I will get a good job next year. So these are all predictions. And um, you guys already know how to make the predictions, right? Um, yeah, you guys know how to make the predictions? Okay, you guys uh, remember how to make predictions. So basically, just to remind you, I'm going to put um, so predictions, not only with put the subject plus um, the word, the, the, the auxiliary will, okay? And because will is a, a model, and after models, we always, 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 always use the base form of the verb. Okay. So base verb, no, sorry, base verb, not pause verb. Base verb, okay? And then if we need it, we can put a complement, okay? Because only if it's necessary, like if it's necessary to use it. Okay. Any? Oh. Okay. Sorry, I don't know why. Why not? So I'm doing crazy things on there. I don't. Okay. All right. So this is pretty clear for everybody. Yeah. Yes, I have a question, teacher. Yeah. Because um, I could see that, um, I'm not, I don't know if I'm mistaken, but it was in the last video that is in the platform where the girl says something and she, and she um, doesn't respect the structure. So I was like, um, why she doesn't do well what she says, but I'm pretty sure that she don't use, that she doesn't use that that is structure. Um, I mean, but it, it is in fact when when he's using the negative form. That she she don't say. Um, for example, for example, if I say he doesn't uh, say. Mm -hmm. Uh, for example, um, she says something like, I will go not, I don't, I don't remember well the, the, the example. Uh, maybe I okay, um, I really don't know, to be honest. I don't really, I, I haven't really noticed anything. Uh -huh. But um, what you can do is uh, maybe you can look at the video tonight. Yeah. Make a note yeah. and then show. Um, tell me tomorrow, mm -hmm. and I can either explain if it was a, if 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 it may have been an honest mistake because you know we're all humans and we make mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. it could be, or it could be that that it was a mistake and it was done on purpose and there was something there's some reason for it. So um, you can just take a note of it to, tonight and then you can ask me tomorrow if that's okay with you, Raphael. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so now let's look at, so like I said, um, this structure is what we're gonna be using independent of the subject. So if you notice this, it, it will rain, they will be mad at me, I will get, okay? So if you notice we have different subjects and even we even have a third person singular, but that doesn't change. You don't say it will rain. You say it will rain. So be careful with that. We always use the base form of the verb after will. Does that sound okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. Any questions that you have at this moment? Teacher. I have I I I have the sentence that she says. Can I say it? Okay. Um, she says, which, which three jobs will people not be doing in 50 years? 
So they, she doesn't put will want people. She says will people not. Okay, let me see if I, if I, um, hold on. I don't know if I can, yeah, I think I can use a chat from here. Okay, so I'm going to write it, uh, what you just said to me, uh, which three jobs what, what was it, the other part? Like that. In the chat. Oh, okay. Which three job jobs will people not be doing in 50 years? Um, three jobs will people not be doing in three years? Um, If I'm not mistaken, it's not necessarily incorrect. It's actually something that we do to emphasize the negative. Because if we just say won't, we understand that it's negative, but it's not emphasized the negative. Yeah, yeah. so if, if you just, if you just simply um, make a contraction, put it together, then the the negative is missed in there. So we use the not to separate it um, so that it can um, it can be more emphasized. It's like when you say it's like when when you say I uh, he isn't American. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no. Um yeah, he isn't American is the same as he's not American. Mm -hmm. But no, I, could say, I could say, which three job will not people be doing? No, it doesn't sound correct. And if I made the contraction, which three jobs? won't people be doing that's fine making the contraction is fine there but if you can put the not it would have to go after the, sub the subject people but does that make sense for you what i'm saying um for example it's when i say he isn't from the usa for example is the same as he or he's not is not is not from the USA. Now, in in both those those sentences are both correct, and um, they express the same idea. But in the second one, we're emphasizing the not, right? So it's okay. the same idea. There. Uh, I, yeah, I think it's like like this. I think it's like this, right? Isn't he American? But I couldn't put. Is not he American? I would say. Is he not American or what would it be? Exactly. I... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, is he not American? So that is, we are emphasizing the not there. It's like when you say in Spanish, es que no es americano. Uh -huh. So it would be, it would be um, incorrect to say this. Is not he American? Yeah, we couldn't say that. Ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. See, that's what I'm saying. It's it's good to ask, yes. and I'm glad. And, and and let me um let me congratulate you, Raphael, because you notice those small details that make a big difference. Um, and it makes a big difference because it just makes it sound much more natural. Um, when you speak, when you like, I mean, this is the way um, native speakers will normally speak. You know, just uh, yeah. when we want to emphasize the negative what we do is we separate the we we don't put them together the won't instead what we do is we separate and we say 
if we put the the auxiliary and the and the and the not separate and we emphasize the word not okay thanks yeah no you're welcome okay um so going back to our topic from before like i said independent of the subject we're always going to get we use will and the base form of the verb okay now over here predictions based on evidence this is kind of the same idea as this one the difference is simply that with this one we're making predictions in general and this one we have evidence okay um now this is not this is not something that is um, mentioned in the lesson, but I wanted you guys to know this because this is actually also something that is, um, is very common when we speak in English um, and we believe that there's, we're making a prediction, but there's a reason to make that prediction. And in that case, what we do is that we use a subject plus, let me, Change that color there. Okay. Okay, so we have the subject, and in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to be using the be going to. Okay, so we're going to be using the be going to, the future be going to. Mistake. Let me just try that again. Oh my goodness. going to separate this button and then of course we're going to have the verb okay and if it, if you think that it's necessary we're going to have the complement okay all right does that make sense so i'm just gonna i'm going to fix this because yeah i uh, see that Okay, so, um, ah, some crazy things on me today. Um, okay, there we go. All right, so we have example. The sky is getting dark. I think it's going to rain. So there is evidence of what your prediction is, and the evidence is that it's um, that the sky is getting dark. That's the evidence, right? So then we have here the subject it. The future be going to is use the verb to be, and then going to, and uh, we know that the future be going to uses the base form of the verb, right? And then the verb which okay there you go and then the verb which you going be going to plus the verb and then the complement in this case we have no complement so okay and then we have here careful that car is going to hit us so here we have the subject is that car uh future b is um here we have the is and then going to right here and then the verb in this case, the complement is us, okay? So I wanted to point out that we can either make it a contraction here, uh, like it's, or, or a complete form, okay? Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, it does, teacher. Okay, all right, good. Okay, and then finally, we have, on this side, we have the predictions of activities and progress in the future. Okay, so that means that we are predicting 
something that is going to happen in the future. And we're predicting that that activity is going to continue for a period of time in the future. Okay. And the structure that we use for that is the subject plus plus a will plus b plus verb plus ing plus a complement if we think it's necessary okay that's the structure any questions at this moment Okay, so it works like this. I will be living in Italy by this time next year. So it means I am, my prediction is that this time next year, um, I'm the, the activity of living in, in Italy will be in progress. Now, of course, this is, this is always gonna, even if it's a plan for the future, this is gonna be a prediction too because you know you really never know about the future and i think that's what this pandemic has shown us right that no matter how many plans you have for the future you really never know if it's going to happen or not right you know you can plan one thing and then something else completely different happens okay the other one for example is we will be speaking italian fluently in two years so notice will be speaking so um, here we have the we is a subject, will, and then be. It's always going to be be, okay? Um, so it's fixed. So independent of what the subject is, so it's going to be be. And then the verb is speak and ing, and the complement is Italian fluently in two years, okay? So this activity of speaking Italian, you, your prediction is that that activity will be in progress in two years. Okay, sounds good? Yes, it is. Any questions that you guys have um, so far? Um, no, that's I, good, teacher. I don't understand the last. You love getting a good time. Okay, just give me a moment. Um, and then we have over here, um, she always works on Sundays, so she is going to be working at that time tomorrow. Um, this is another, another structure that we can use. It's the same idea with this, okay? So it's like, basically, it's almost like we are, like these first two are like this one, but the longer version. So this, these actions are long. Whereas these ones are like this one, but these actions are um, based on evidence, okay? So there's another structure here. This is the second structure. Um, let me just give you a moment here. Um, okay, so, one second here. Okay, so the other structure that we're get, we can use is okay so the other structure is the subject plus oh just give me a second let's take away this part here okay.
Okay, so like I said, there's a second structure here. And it's kind of this one kind of corresponds over here to this one, where it's based on an evidence. So we have the subject plus the future be going to, and the verb, and the complement if it's needed. Example, she always works on Sunday. So she's going to be working at that time tomorrow. Okay, so ima imagining that this is um, today is Saturday, then and the evidence is that um, she works on Sunday, then your prediction is that the action of working will be in progress tomorrow. Does that make sense? <clears throat> yes, teacher. Please let me know. If you don't understand something, please let me know. Okay, so we're gonna continue then with the next one. So you all, you love getting a good tan. I'm sure you are, you're going to be sunbathing on the beach next vacation. Do you guys understand sunbathing? I don't know, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, for those of you that don't understand what sunbathing means, it's just when you go, when you lay um, under the sun, maybe for example, on a chair or at the beach, you're lying there taking the sun, okay? So you, you want the sun to hit you and uh, make you have a different color of skin. That's sunbathing, yeah? Okay. All right, so, yes. Thank so you. it says here, you love getting a good tan. A tan, do you understand what a tan is? No. No. I don't know. Yeah. Yes. What is a tan, Josue? I said I don't know. Sorry? I don't know, teacher. Okay, who knows what is a tan? Um, me teacher. It's when you you put in your your skin a, a bronzer in them. Maybe in a when you go to the beach and, and the lying in the under the under the sun. Hello. Yes. Uh huh. It's basically a tan. Um, is is the is the thing or the way that your skin becomes after you're under the sun in spanish how would you say a, a tan bronceado. bronceado exactly un bronceado okay so it says you love getting a good tan so in other te, te words exactly oh te encanta uh, obtener un buen bronceado mm -hmm. So I'm sure you're going to be sunbathing on the beach next vacation. So in other words, estoy segura que vas a estar tomando el sol en la playa en la, en la próxima vacación. So we can make the prediction that the action of sunbathing will be in progress on the next vacation based on the fact that you love a good tan. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, so all of these exercises are clear, or better, so all of the um, the sentences are clear for you. Yeah. Yes, it's clear. Yes, it's clear. All right, perfect. So let's move on to the last part. Um, the last one is um, about um, future actions completed before another time in the future. Um, let me see if I can erase this because I don't want this either. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right. So 
Um, so we have future actions completed before another action or time in the future. Okay, in other words, we have two actions in the future. And the two actions, it, we, it, we have, okay, so basically there are two actions in the future. And one of those actions, the first chronological action is finished, it's done before the second chronological action. So if we were going to um, make a timeline, it would kind of look like this. So we have the timeline here. Um, and then, so this is the future, right? Everything over here is going to be the future. Okay. And this is my present. Okay. And what, what we're saying is basically that here is there, there's going to be, we're pretty sure that there's going to be an action over here in the future. And we have another action or time over here in the future. Okay, there are two actions in the future. And what we're saying is that this one over here is going to be finished before this time. Now, when is it finished? It doesn't really matter. It can be finished over here, or it can be finished, um, it can also be finished over here. So just before it, okay. or it can be finished over here because all of them are in the future. So it doesn't really matter. When it's finished, it's not important. What's important is that it's before this second action or time in the future. Does that make sense? Yes. Any questions? No, yes. Uh, um, I have one teacher. But then the first sentence is a, a hypothetical case, no? I think. Well, they're all predictions. No. They're all predictions because remember, the future is uncertain. And like I said, that's what these, um, uh, this, uh, what's it called? Pandemic has, has taught us. You know, we have, uh, you know, we have plans for the future and then boom, all of a sudden, Everything changes from one moment to the next. Your life changes completely. Oh, yeah, so yeah. everything, uh, I got so it. everything in the future is is a prediction, really. You know, we can't, <laughs> yes, we can't really be idea. sure. So, example: okay. it will have snowed in El Salvador before the pandemic is over. Now, this is a little bit more um, sarcastic, right? Sarcastic. Yeah. But um, but it definitely you're saying like, oh, okay, you're predicting. Um, that there will be snow. So over here, we're going to have snow in El Salvador, and then boom, the pandemic is over, right? Over here, let's say. Okay. So this is kind of a little bit sarcastic, but we're, what we're saying is basically that um, that you know, snowing in El Salvador is very unlikely, but it will happen before this action is it happens, right? Before the pandemic is over, and it's probably true because you know pandemics. Well, maybe not a pandemic, but uh, definitely before like the coronavirus is over because, you know, coronavirus is probably never going to go away, right? Okay. We'll give you the other one. It says, you will have graduated by the time you start working here. So um, over here, we have, um, we have uh, this action of graduating is finished over here. And then you work, you start working over here. Okay. All right. And then the other one, it was over here. It says, I will, in two years, I will have moved abroad. So then we can have here. Um, okay. We, that means that over here, we have the two years. Two, this is the two years. And before the two years are over, uh, you move abroad. Maybe you move abroad closer to the two years 
or maybe closer to the present. It doesn't really matter, okay? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, all right, so let me write the, the structure of the here. So it's gonna be subject plus uh, will plus have plus past participle. Uh, um, participle. And then we have uh, plus the complement if we think it's necessary. Um, okay, so. Okay, there you go. That's the structure. The subject was will. I'm oh, sorry. Will. It's always going to be will. And it's always going to be have, independent of the subject. Okay. So if you, over here, the subject is it, but we don't say it will have, sorry, it will has snowed. You say it will have snowed. Because after will, which is a base, uh, sorry, it's a model, we always use the base form. Sorry, yeah, the base form of the verb. We never use it will has, and then past participle snowed. And a complement, it also would have been for the pandemic is over. The other one, subject you, then we have will, have, past participle graduated, and the complement um, by the time you start working here. And then we have a uh, subject is I, then we have will, we have have, and past participle moved, and, past, and the complement, complement is abroad. Does that make sense for everybody or any questions that you may have? <clears throat> for me, it's, it's okay, teacher. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. All right, so those are the different ways that we can talk about predictions of the future, okay? So basically I've taught you here um, pretty much four different ways. No, sorry, five different ways, right? Because we have this one here that I just taught you. And then over here we had, in the other slide we had four, right? Um, this, no, hold on, sorry. This one right here. Uh, we have one, two, three, and four. So four, way, four ways. Now in the platform, they basically only show you um, three ways. But you know, um, I decided that it was it was good for you to know a little bit more about the different predictions, right? But for the the sake of the platform, you just need to use you just need to know three. Okay. Any questions? Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Thanks. What, any questions that you want to ask before we continue? No, teacher. Okay, all right. So I'm going to stop sharing for a moment. Um, do you guys want, would you guys want me to share these to um, the, these, um, these, uh, what's it called, um, okay. uh, uh, slides. Would you guys want me to share these two slides with you in the, in the group? Yes, please. Okay, all right. Um, let me see if I can get this. Okay, one moment, let's see if, let's see if this works. Um, 
Actually, I'm going to stop sharing because I think it's going to be easier if I do that way. By the way, um, so far, any problems with the um, with the platform? Uh, Raphael, I don't know. Did you check if um, if they had changed the section that we talked about yesterday? Because I haven't had the opportunity of checking. Have you Have you done that? Well, everything is good in the platform, but I think there is no problem. So the platform is okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. So in that case, guys, well, um, let's see. Yeah. I think it's going to take me a little bit of time there to... Um, to send the information in the WhatsApp group. But I will send it to you guys um, so that you guys have it there. Um, and anything you need, I will, I will, I can help you with. And tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna be practicing this. We, well, today you have theory and tomorrow we're gonna have the practice. And we're also going to be looking at the final exam. So if you have any questions about the final exam, you can ask, you can write them down and then uh, make sure that you can ask it, ask me them tomorrow. Okay. Any questions so far? Anything you want to okay. ask before we finish? No, teacher. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you. No. Okay. Well, guys, that will be all then for today. Um, and I will see you tomorrow to finish our course and, uh, and the platform. Okay. All right. Okay. So I hope you, um, a very nice uh, night, and uh, and um, see you yeah. tomorrow. Okay, see you Thank tomorrow, you, teacher. You too. Good night. 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 Good night.